We're just at the base of Lambeth Bridge. It's the morning of day two. Um, this is XR Wales, XR Bristol, XR Farmers, XR Rainbow. Um, and we're just going to have a morning meeting in about 10 minutes. Messaging is going to come from local justice. So they're going to come with banners and stuff, which is going to be the message. Um, what we just need is people to block. How are you feeling right now? Uh, pretty calm. Yeah. Uh, very empowered by everybody getting on with it. Do you have a plan about what you want to do? Um, I'll uh, <laughs> probably be moving on to the front entrance. I'm not exactly sure how yet, but... Talked to your uh, siblings about this? I uh, haven't talked to anybody specifically about this action, um, but I talked to my my mother about uh, the fact that I'm probably going to be arrested. So. How does she feel? Um, she is, of course, worried because she's a mother, but she understands and she's quite supportive actually. So. so, where are we off to right now? Um, we're going to go and do a little recce at the Department of Transport and um, see about how we can stop people getting into work. What time is this? We kick this all off. Huh? So um, we're, we're looking to um, coordinate a closure of all the government buildings at 8 o'clock. Um, I'm expecting most staff to come in about 9. How do you feel right now? Um, I feel a mixture of um, anxiety and uh, excitement, so yeah, bring it on. Um, we're about to um, barricade a um, building to do with public transport, um, so yeah, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Thank you. We're uh, glued to the floor outside the Department of Transport on uh, Marsham Street, Westminster. Why are you doing this? Um, we're doing this because we want to call a pause to business as usual. We want people to collectively wake up to um, the policies that are going to drive us over the cliff uh, of extinction, not just of um, species around the globe, but humanity itself. We, we want people to stop, take a pause, and, and let's see what we can do to, to reverse this. I don't have any children. Um, I do have two young nephews and since uh, being involved in XR since April, um, they have actually been the kind of at the forefront of my mind. Um, I'm, I feel like we're at a point um, in our civilization where we actually really need to think about future generations and to um, take responsibility for that, what we've caught, done to the earth, basically. Um, it's time for us to take action, so that's why I'm here today. And you haven't got any debonding kit with you? <clears throat> that's fine, just making us trying to work out, so okay. How you doing, man? I'm good. My heart's going a bit fast now because it was a bit, a bit of a, uh, it was a bit exciting trying to get the, my hand on the door, but um, yeah, they clocked me pretty quickly because I was putting glue on as soon as I as soon as I got over. But um, but yeah, pretty good. The Department for Transport um, hasn't been effective in in decarbonizing transport, and that's vital in in changing the situation we have with with uh, global climate change and pollution. My children are two and four. And um, my four-year-old asked me recently if the world is burning and I didn't know what to tell her. And every time she tells me she wants to be a doctor when she grows up, I don't know what to tell her. Um, it, it's so frightening. Every day is, it's frightening. Um, I had no choice but to come here. Sorry. Uh, we're sitting at the back entrance of the Department of Transport at the moment. Uh, we've blockaded both entrances and no one's allowed in today. Um, we're doing this basically to highlight all the, the problems that the DFT is causing uh, in, in our country and around the world, uh, basically causing a climate emergency. It's not just them, there's a lot to it, but at the end of the day, transport's a big issue. I'm talking like cars, flights, we need a much better public uh, transport infrastructure that will allow us to get rid of all the cars on the road. We need to be putting less planes in the air, not more, uh, and that's not what the government's doing right now, is it? They're 
expanding airports all over the place. They announced they're going to uh, expand Heathrow only two days after declaring a climate emergency. Uh, it's no good. So here we are. We're not going anywhere. And uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, it is quite funny that they have put one electric charging point right outside the Department of Transport. Um, it's plugged in, but I wonder whose car that is. <laughs> the, the point here is that we get our message across. I think. Uh, we've, we've spent too long doing nothing. You know, we've, we've known about this problem since, since the 80s and, and nothing's happened. So I think, I think it's, it's important that, that, that we, we do something a bit different to try and get, get the governments to change. Extinction Rebellion, uh, we have three demands. And the, uh, the, the first one is to tell the truth. So we, we want the government to, to admit that there is a climate emergency and we need to do something about it. Uh, and the second one is to have net zero carbon emissions by 2025. Um, and then the third one is to have a climate uh, a citizens assembly and make sure that, that we can sort of take, this, take the decision of climate change away from the political parties and, and just you know, make sure something gets done rather than, rather than depending on who we vote for.